Good afternoon. Well, I shall say good evening or good morning, wherever you are in the world. How are you today? My name is Didi. I came to slay. Holla. Is that the Amazon? Hold on one sec. Is that Amazon? Okay. Do I need to sign? Who are you? Uh, no. What number? 16. This is 38. 16 is down that way. Yes. You're welcome. That's the damn pizza man. At least he rang the bell. The Amazon bastard left my box out there. The audacity. E, grab my box, please. My Amazon is out there. Thank you. All right, I'm back. I came to say this bullshit right here. Kevin Samuels had the audacity to die of hypertension. He was online dragging fat black women for sports, okay? It was just the running joke and still is, and black men are so fucking proud about all the negative things they learned from him and how women are no good and women are overweight and women need to do this and that and the third, and they're going to die alone from diabetes and high blood pressure, and he had the audacity to die from high blood pressure? He was not in tip-top shape. See, this is why my mom and them always said, watch what you say. Shut your damn mouth. Shut up. Like, when I hear people talk about other people and their kids, I don't say shit. Because in my mind, I'm like, you better shut the fuck up. Don't do it. Because kids will surprise you and embarrass your ass. Don't make no mistake about it. Hello. Oh, yes. It could be all good today, but tomorrow, huh? Or tonight, you don't know what's going to set them off. Shut the fuck up. That's a perfect example. I mean, I can't believe it. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I cannot believe it. All the big Shirley jokes. I mean, all the immature men on here. I'm sorry, immature males on here thought it was appropriate to be calling women big Shirley as if they had it going on. You know, like you, you just disrespecting people because you can. And y'all thought this shit was funny, not realizing that people have emotions and feelings. And guess what? Just like any other addiction behind weight, there's a story. Hello? So, right. But just to think that he was teasing and tormenting women and talk about how they're going to die alone, you know, fat, high blood pressure, diabetes. And he had the nerve to have high blood pressure. And he was skinny. See, that's what I'm saying. Don't judge a book by its cover. All of this shit is an illusion. Believe that. He was under a lot of stress. Somebody was like, he was eating a lot of steak. Steak don't kill you. Steak don't kill you. Stress does lies does being in over your head with bills does okay like they said he didn't even have his apartment in his name but y'all talking about women and what they need to do and this nigga wasn't focused on what he needed to be doing right right we need to spend more time worried about our own lives instead of judging other people he spent his he thought y'all really thought he was rich off of dragging black women and y'all were happy and hand clapping that bullshit and then he dies in the same manner that he accused black women, obese, fat, big, Shirley women, okay? The first thing he want to ask you is how much do you weigh? When the reality is, are you healthy? Because you can be unhealthy at any size, right? Y'all love to single out fat people because it's an easy target. And y'all deem us as weak and we are not, okay? We are confident and secure in who the fuck we are. And y'all, a lot of y'all are mad about it, right? Because just because you're thin doesn't mean you have style and grace and finesse or you're funny or you have a personality because some of y'all are just weak, period. As you can see, he's all skinny and shit, but he was broke, right? He was a bully. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know y'all swear, you know, he was giving out fashion points, pointers, you know, that made him special on some level. I don't know how or why, but okay. And, you know, I've still been waiting for those videos that these guys was dropping down where they were telling me how fucking great and wonderful he was. I haven't seen those yet. Anyway, right. I'm open to them, but I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them, but this just confirms what I already knew. See, I'm not one for bullshit. Right. I don't listen to lies. I don't listen to bullshit and fuckery. I don't listen to hypocrites. Mm -mm. I don't do it. I, ain't got, I, I have no time for that. Stop wasting y'all time on that bullshit, too, because you cannot get any of that time back. Okay. Y'all ever watched a, like 20 minutes of a movie? Like that time, one time I went to see this Chris Rock movie, right? It was like top 10. It was a whole bunch of comedians in that shit. Thank God I know that 
If you're not in the movie longer than 20 minutes, you can get your money back. I got my fucking money back and I was mad that I wasted my time and energy going over there to see that bullshit. Okay. Right. But that's, 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 that's the gist of it. He's a fucking hypocrite. We already knew that. But for him to drag women the way he did, and he wasn't even in tip top shape. Had he even been to the doctor? Was he on blood pressure medication? Was he not taking it? He was drinking Red Bulls. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than eating dinner. It's like he's on Red Bull and steak. No, he was more like on Red Bull. He wasn't healthy. Hello? Thin doesn't mean you're well. And fat doesn't mean you're about to drop dead either. Every fat person y'all see, I don't give a fuck how fat they are. Some of them don't have diabetes. They don't. Everybody don't have it. Everybody don't have high blood pressure. I cussed out a doctor a long time ago in a nice, polite way. I checked that bitch properly. To this day, Dr. Sally, she know better. Because, you know, when you go to, when you deal with certain white people, they put them labels on everybody. This bitch is asking me about cholesterol and high blood pressure. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not here for that. Oh, you don't have that bitch? Read the chart. You just looking at my fat ass and assuming this. No, I do not. But y'all assume. Y'all want to judge people. But meanwhile, nobody can judge you. I notice the people who always got the most to fuck to say when they get checked all of a sudden. Uh, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Yes, the fuck you did. Yes, you did. But now you're going to shut the fuck up. And the next time you see a fat black woman, bitch, you're not going to assume that they got all the, the hypertension, the high cholesterol, you know, the high the diabetes and all that bullshit. Don't do that because you don't know. And the funny thing is you're a doctor. You could read the fucking chart, but no, you'd rather put a label on like everybody else does. You know, y'all have been conditioned to believe the bullshit because think about this. I was peeping game the other day. So little Kim, little Kim, <sighs> little Kim, I love little Kim regardless. I don't give a fuck, but it's sad. I mean, it is what it is. She's having image, image issues, right? And y'all are dragging the fuck out of her for having image issues and not liking who she was. And oh, she used to be pretty. But meanwhile, on the flip side. We're not talking about Lizzo's behavior, but we're talking about Lizzo's body type. And we're going to also acknowledge that the queen has lost a, a, a substantial a lot of, a amount of weight. Lizzo has lost a lot of fucking weight. Y'all need to Google Lizzo. She looks great, actually. She still got a way to go, but she looks good, okay? But um, y'all are shaming her for embracing who she is. You see what I'm saying? It's like, she's not allowed. She's fat, so she can't wear spandex and half shirts. She got a gut. She shouldn't be wearing that, you know. But she, it's all her body. That's who she is. And y'all don't appreciate that either. Then you don't appreciate the little Kim who thinks that, you know, well, I'm going to get myself fixed. Because the reality is little Kim is not the only motherfucker who looking deformed out here. Hello? She's not the only one. Y'all see him at the grocery store online. Uh... <laughs> airport at the dominican republic hello at the damn resorts y'all see it everywhere it's all over the place everybody's getting asses and they, some people getting asses and they don't have no thighs like it's obvious there's a lot of horse looking ostrich looking people walking around y'all see kim kardashian got her shit taken down and she needed to not only that like i said with a lot of these women with these big old asses these dudes what are y'all gonna do with them because y'all can't fuck them because y'all got no dick <laughs> It is what it is. I'm speaking facts. Right. You got to have some reach to get up on all of that. Okay. Some of y'all ain't strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a bit much. Everybody want to, I don't get it. But see, this is what's going to happen. Because you got to keep touching that up. You got to keep fixing that. I saw Keisha Cole looking a hot ass mess. Like, girl, they all, like I said, the same face. Keisha, Nene, um, all of them. I tried. I said I'm going to try to watch The Real Housewives again because uh, Phaedra is back on the franchise. I don't know which one. But um, I just can't get with that negative bullshit. I don't know. I can only... I, I, I start feeling like I have anxiety when I start watching that shit. It's just so messy and so fucked. It's fucked up. And I mean, I get they making money off it. I guess if I was on the show, it would be one thing. But to just sit down and dedicate time to watching them bitches? Nah. No. No. And you know what else is disgusting on there? Kenya, not, what's her name? Kenya and, uh, not Kenya, but that other bitch. Marlo, like, y'all are too old to hate each other that much. It's not okay. It's not okay. And did y'all see that girl, what's her name? Krishana Rock, the one who goes with Blueface, the artist, 
who beat up his mother and his sister. She's on some new show with Natalie Nunn, right? First of all, she looked like a dude. I ain't even going to front her body type. They said she played football. I believe it. She played female football. But um, her front tooth was knocked out. Y'all tell me about this bitch. <laughs> she got the front tooth replaced, but the front tooth has a picture of the dude blue face on it. You can't make this shit up. Right. Uh-huh. The tooth that she got in the front of her mouth, she's missing her left front tooth, the big tooth. Mm -hmm. And she had a replacement put in because she's been walking a while for a minute without one. And it has his face on it. Why? You know, another example of a low self-esteem. It's like, it's amazing that these are the people that they put out here for your children to look at. This is why you got to snatch that shit back. Don't let your kids, don't expose them to all of this shit. That show that Natalie Nunn got has is 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 very very troubling. It's like damn, it remind it. It's a perfect example of why. Did y'all see those three girls in Florida who went to the what was it a McDonald's or somewhere, and they danced all over the. They was twerking on the counter and they tore up the restaurant. Yeah, they watched that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like ah. It's sad that people don't know better. But motherfuckers really don't know better. They really, really don't. And if we don't teach our children, they never will. And that's a fact. But for them to be out here doing the shit that they're doing and tearing up things and hurting people, it's just crazy out here. But that Krishana girl, I said, damn, she beat everybody ass on that show. I don't even know why anybody would argue with her. But hey, I guess they're all there. This show is a knockoff bad girls club. And Natalie, she's like, is she not married anymore? What happened to her husband and her baby? And then Natalie be wearing one pieces and she look a mess. She's old too. And you know, yeah, y'all got to go look at her for yourself. Google that bitch, Natalie Nunn. That show is super messy and unnecessary, not needed. There's, are there any positive shows on for young black women between the ages of Let's just say 12 and 25. I'm going to say no. No. Because you have the black Chinas of the world. Those are the people that they put out there, the fake bitches. Because the little girls from um, blackish and grownish, those little girls got it going on. They don't promote them like that. Um, you know, Chloe and Haley. Chloe get a little more shine because she always halfway, you know, she's very sexy and voluptuous. So they put a little spotlight on her, but it's not like it could be, but they don't highlight the positive. And have y'all seen Beyonce? <gasps> Ooh, if any other beehive is in the building, do break it down. Are y'all here for this bullshit or what? Are you guys going down that weirdo road or is it just me or is it? No, nah. no, nah, y'all ain't having that shit either. I saw a clip of her. First of all, Beyonce is almost 50, okay? So, the music was weird. The outfit was weird. They said it was demonic. They were saying it was demonic in the um comments. But it's sad to see her go down that road. And where is Solange? What's she doing? Because she's actually talented. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that Beyonce is not, but she's no Jennifer Hudson. Anyway, see, Jennifer Hudson can do all those dances. But with that voice, she doesn't need to and shouldn't have to, you know? But, um, yeah, Beyonce was on some bullshit. I saw that on the short. Y'all got to watch the shorts. Let me see. Is my phone on? I got 28% on my other phone. Let's go through the shorts and see what's popping. Okay. I told y'all about that short where I saw the dude throw the bike in the driveway. Okay. I saw some other bullshit today. Let me think what it was. Oh, I've seen a few of these. What's up with the parents rolling in the room to their eight-year-old kids talking about they're going to go fight somebody? And that person has a child. And are you ready to go fight too? I mean. <sighs> TikTok needs to be shut the fuck down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that whole freedom of speech. But we don't really have freedom of speech. But we do have freedom of speech. They give y'all enough freedom of speech to destroy the world and fuck yourselves. But um, you really don't. It's just horrible. Why? Why is that the thing? Why in today's day and age where children are killing children, children are shooting adults, adults are killing each other, 
why would you go run in your eight-year-old's room talking about, I'm about to have a fight, you come in too? Oh, my God. Did y'all see the brawl on the cruise trip ship? Now, I'm not a boat person. I had considered going on a cruise because you could leave right out of New York. But when I saw that shit, I was like, thanks for confirming, God. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. Your message came in a timely manner as usual. Won't be doing that. But it was a crowd of people fighting on a fucking boat. I mean, do people forget where they were? The world has gone mad. Told y'all COVID, they tried to give y'all the, 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 the map. They gave y'all the game plan. Stay home and stay away from motherfuckers. That's your best bet. On well, some real shit. Because we've gone, the world is fucked. I'm telling you, TikTok is demon too. TikTok is some bullshit. Because some of this, some of this stuff, I'm just like, wow, I'm not even gonna. <sighs> you know, it's not funny. The cussing grandmother on there with Alzheimer's, not funny. Because to me, you know, that is reinforcing that negative stereotype and that image that they put out there that we know is not 100% incorrect. Let's not get it fucked up. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that why put that on display? Nobody wins when y'all do that. You know, like I had gotten to it, one of my family members, because I said something. I was like, you know, as a black person, they was like, it don't matter. White people do the same thing. I keep hearing y'all saying that shit. But their community is not affected the way ours is. And I will never accept that shit. Because in the same breath, y'all want to say they do the same things. But then on the flip side of that, they holding y'all back. And, it, and the reality is we're holding ourselves back because we could create and build our own. But we don't like each other. And we want to compare ourselves to them when it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? Not when... See, see when it's some negative shit, it's... Don't compare us to white people. They do the same thing. But then when it's time to say, well, you know what? The white people do it like this. We should do that too. What? Fuck that. Bye, bye, bye. I'm trying to be white. Or if you're doing some other shit, you, they consider you a, a blacker. You know what I'm saying? A black cracker. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably ain't never heard that. I just made that up my goddamn self. <laughs> Not to be... Y'all know I don't have no hate and malice toward anybody. But yeah, a blacker. A black cracker. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They try to put that label on you when you ain't super fucking ghetto. And you know, everybody don't have the ability to flip back and forth. I know some people straight out the hood ain't nothing hood about them. Okay. Nothing. Nada. You would never know. But you don't have to always be on ghetto. Some of y'all motherfuckers need to turn down at times. And I, I'm serious. The same way some of the shit that y'all wearing out here in public that y'all deem as appropriate, it's not. It's not. If y'all ass crack and your coochie crack is showing, you need to take that shit off. I'm that serious. If it's cheap material, take it off. It can be cheap. The, the real deal is, does it look cheap? If the shit look cheap, and some of y'all don't know what look cheap is. And I hate to inform some of y'all, the makeup, all that fucking hair is aging, you ladies. Y'all look so much more beautiful without all that bullshit. Seriously. You can see your face. Y'all fucking up your hair. Because keep wearing all them wigs, you ain't gonna have none. Don't worry about that. You know, some of y'all doing protective styles, but some of y'all are not doing shit to your hair underneath. And y'all are slapping them wigs on, fucking up your hairlines and shit and your follicles and not... Washing and conditioning, greasing your hair. But them wigs are crazy. Them wigs with the makeup, with the lashes, with the small dresses. <sighs> you know, the low cut, the ass out, the back out, the coochie out. And y'all aren't going anywhere to the store and shit. Like, what happened to being normal? It's okay. What happened to jeans and a t-shirt? I'm not saying don't look your best, but I'm just saying, like, God damn, y'all are just doing way too much. Y'all dress like y'all going to perform all the motherfucking time. Y'all got the wrong memo. Like, look like, like Dr. Heavenly is somebody y'all could be looking at as a role model. You know what I mean? She's a fucking baller. She got more money than little Kim would ever even think about. Okay? Real shit. That's who y'all should be looking at. She went on a weight loss journey. She has a husband. She got a family. She owns fucking, um, she chains of dentist office and shit. Or she's an artist. This woman is everything. That's somebody who should be on a high level of being praised. She be on fuck shit too, but however, she a real woman and sh her shit is together. They don't put her out there like that. It's all that negative shit. So our girls have body image issues. Then, you know, this man said something. Was it Pierre? 
yes, Pierre, the comedian, he said, women don't do that for men. They do it for other women, all the body, you know, surgeries and stuff. And I disagree. I think it's for both. I think it's because they have self image issues. Everybody really needs to just start embracing their damn bodies because when you get these surgeries, don't y'all have to go back and tighten that shit up? Like, are you going to, and I guess they're getting, a lot of people are getting botched cheap surgeries, but if you don't have the 12 G's to put down, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I see they even finance surgeries. They do all of that. Like some cases I get it. I understand. I'm not saying it ain't necessary. Sometimes it is, but when you're already beautiful, and you like, oh, I just did this, but I'm going to go do this. Like, you see some of these women who die. You look at them and you're like, damn. Damn, she was beautiful already. Like, what were you doing? Why? And then they, it's addictive. You can tell. Look at little Kim and look at Michael Jackson. Right. See, I figured a long time ago, I figured out the game with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was not addicted to plastic surgery. Michael Jackson was addicted to them drugs they gave you after plastic surgery. So that's why I always got a nip and tuck so I can keep that good shit coming. It wasn't about the surgery. You feel me? Little Kim. I mean, little Kim looked like motherfucking Joan Rivers. If y'all don't know who Joan Rivers is, Google her. Joan Rivers got so much plastic surgery. And this was through the 80s and 90s when it wasn't even popular, you know? But in the end, it was shocking that I wasn't shocking. It was kind of like, you know, that's the way she should have went out. But she died on the um, surgeon table, too, getting plastic surgery. Right around the same time, I believe, as Kanye West's mom, too. Like another one, Kanye West's mama. What made her go do that? Enjoy all that fucking money. But instead, you want to look like a young woman and a teenager and in the hopes of what? Getting some man that ain't going to matter anyway? Fuck him. If you love on yourself enough, that shit don't matter. Because if somebody is only loving you for your looks anyway, that's not what you need or want. For real, for real. People don't even get to know you. They don't ask you no questions. They don't want to know shit about you. Like, what's my fucking favorite color? You know, all they want to know is you got a fat ass. Oh, sad. But the sad reality is that ladies today want to put themselves out there like that. Like I said, for me, it's all the fake shit. It's the fake bodies. It's the fake hair. It's all the fucking makeup. It's just too much. I can't stand it, honestly. I guess y'all will grow out of it at some point, I hope. But y'all are losing your beauty. Y'all are beautiful without all that shit, I think. And all these people don't even look alike. Because if you notice, your cousins, your daughters, your sisters, they, they look like these motherfuckers too when they put them all that makeup. And do the contour nose. Everybody looks the same. It might just be the makeup. So maybe if they start stop wearing all that fucking makeup, people can get back to individuality again. But see, that's the problem. We've lost the sense of being an individual. You know, it was never popular, though. I'm going to be real with you. Because I was always considered a weirdo. First of all, because I was nice. Nice wasn't a common thing and still is not. You know, people think you fucking weird when you're nice. You know, like when you can get along with everybody and shit is ha-ha, hee-hee. And you're going to always come across demons who don't get you. And that's just what it is. But yeah, being different <laughs> is a problem. People want you to fit and conform into their box. And if y'all remember the movie Stepford Wives, watch the original one. Not that new shit they made with Matthew. It wasn't too bad with Matthew Broderick and what you call it? Nicole Kidman. But the original one. Like, everybody was the same. Everybody thinks the same. Everybody, you know, that's what it is now. Everybody dressed the same. Everybody looks the same. Everybody got the same makeup. Everybody got the same wig. It's a bit much. Y'all know what I decided? I'm going to start. I think I'm going to try to watch Brett and Judy. I never had no fucking interest in that. But Lisa Ray messy ass has been on there. <laughs> I saw a clip with Lisa Ray. And I want to watch and see what's really good with them. So the issue was, uh, what's her face? Judy confronted Lisa because she said that Lisa talked too much, basically. That's not what she said, how she said it, but that's what she said, okay? So she said, yeah, you talk too fucking much. When people ask you questions about Brad, you don't have to answer. She wouldn't do that to you. And Lisa was like, well, she ain't me, okay? I do me. I've been me. I'm not going to switch up for nobody. So I want to see, well, first of all, I want to know what was the questions that were so offensive, is Brad offended? Did she say anything? Because Judy looked like she was about to cry. And not cry in the sense like I'm scared. Like 
cry like, bitch, I'm going to scratch your goddamn eyeballs out if you don't say what I want you to say right now. Yeah. So I want to know what was the deal. Because I don't know. I mean, I saw some pictures for their wedding. I just, I don't know. It's not that they're gay. It's that I don't like some of our, I, you know what fucked up? Judy? See, fucking around listening to MC Shaky for the longest. He said so much negative shit about Judy that was true. <laughs> so when I see Judy, I don't, I don't, I don't see a nice person. You know what I'm saying? I think they call it a truce now. I'm not sure. Or him and Super called the scent a truce. And Super, oh my God. <sighs> so if y'all recall a few weeks ago, I had, did a video where she was like, she was downsizing. She didn't need people or some bullshit. But then did I hear she bought some man a house or some shit? Like, bitch, what is wrong with you? Desperation is real. See, that's what I'm saying. It's about self-image. Ladies who don't love themselves. I wouldn't give a fuck if I came into $80 million tomorrow. What I'm not going to do is go find me no man. <laughs> fuck what you heard. I've been chilling, minding my business. I'm good, right? I'm going to spend my money. I'm going to travel with my family. I'm going to kick it on that level. I ain't meeting their motherfucker. And if I do... He won't know what I have. Right. Because motherfuckers assume I'm rich now and I ain't. I, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. So definitely I will play it off. But no. Never that. And even then, I, why risk my motherfucking millions? Never that. Uh-uh. Value yourself. Even with nothing. <laughs> Value yourselves. Right. I heard Rainy over there and she was saying how they was dragging her. What's her name? Sister T. No, what's she call him? <laughs> Victor T. And uh, Regina. Regina. But they was talking about not having a man and not get, keeping a man. Like, these bitches think like you in the motherfucking 40s. Let me tell you something. Having a man in 2022 don't mean a motherfucking thing. Hello? It means nothing. We happy for you if you got one. But it, the goal for women in 2022 is not to find a man sure if you get one and he's nice great or you know basically you want man hands on your body and shit but as far as all this uh pulling up in a white horse and saving you coming through in the white bins and changing your life forever that dream is over that yacht has sunk bitch ain't nobody thinking about that kind of shit you know but some of people on here were with because that's what they were looking at Kwame as i don't know why I told y'all Kwame think he better than your motherfuckers. Y'all don't believe that. But oh, now y'all do. I've heard about the fallout, huh? What y'all said? Yeah, I told y'all. Squid games around this bitch. Act like you know. Know when y'all being played with. Y'all get emotionally involved with shit. And y'all need to pick your fucking battles wisely. I learned that as a little kid. Everything don't matter. And other people's shit definitely don't matter. Real talk. Mm -mm. That shit on here on YouTube? Mm -mm. No. Absolutely not. With these niggas arguing back and forth. All in a bunch of niggas arguing over dick. Because that's what's going on on here. Mm -hmm. But when Victor T. <laughs> Ooh, when Victor T was talking about Rady and Rady. <laughs> he put that picture up and said. She had on a velvet sleeveless sweatsuit. No, what was the fuck was the material? Y'all. I was done. I mean, she had a, she, she got strong muscles. And then they said she used to be fat. But I don't know. I would need to see those pictures from back in the day. Like, and it don't sound like it was back, back in the day. It sounded like it was kind of recent, but I was just fucking dying. Like, where did you get a motherfucking sleeveless velour sweatsuit from? Real talk. <laughs> it's just sad to see grown older women dragging another woman like that and a younger woman. Y'all told y'all that ain't my shit. I don't, I don't support that. I don't support that in real life. So I'm not going to do it on here. I'm just not going to do it on here. But um, we need to respect each other. And then we don't know why we don't get respected in the street. You know, other races of people don't respect us. I got to put up this, I put, I had screenshot this um, post that this Nigerian chick put up. It was like, Wow. It confirms again what I told y'all how African people. But they said Nigerians don't fuck with nobody, not even other Africans. They think they better than them too. So, you know. But I don't completely disagree. Like, we you got to have some fucking standards. We got to change the game somewhere. Where does it begin? 
is the question. Hmm? What are we going to do? Because we can't keep saying all oh, this shit is appropriate. It's okay. This shit ain't all right. These bitches are all around here talking about women. Dragging women. Talking about their vaginas and shit. Don't men do that enough? Shaming women for being fat. When women are in their natural state. It's who they are as a person. If I'm fat, I'm fat. Okay? That's it. Period. It doesn't affect you. You don't like it, don't look. But y'all don't get that. Yo, the funny shit, though, is motherfucking Hitchbox. Okay? Hitchbox. Y'all know big Hitchbox? Hitchbox is fucking huge. This motherfucker been clowning Lonnie for being fat. Why the fuck did he put her face on his body? Because that looked like his body laying on that um, thumbnail. Now, see, my point for bringing up him, because, you know, I would probably call this motherfucker hits. I don't know. I, I would call him some names. Right. First of all, because the problem I have is somebody who's 600 pounds shouldn't be calling anybody fat. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? How dare you? Disrespectful. Why is a dude, a dude allowed to, do, to, to say and do that? I mean, y'all have seen Hitchbox. How is it that he's allowed to call somebody fat? Y'all don't be thinking when y'all saying shit. Cause he should really he should really think that out. You can't just say, so what, I'm fat, but I'm 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 coming for you. Excuse me. It's different if you like, okay, I'm fat too. This is what we could do or whatever. But that's only after you've had some motherfucking success at doing something. But how do you get on here and you currently six hundred your motherfucking self and drag a woman for being overweight? I don't get it. And that's okay. That shit is fucking nuts. Crazy. I know you be like, oh, Lonnie be dragging people. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how men are able to judge women. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Men judge women everywhere they go. I'm telling y'all, when y'all see girls, and I'm talking y any age of a girl walking on the street, and you see a nigga ride by in the car, just look and look and see how they look at her. Mm -hmm. Just see how they look at her. Even at the train station, everywhere you go, dudes, black men turn around and look at women's asses and size them up. Black men do that. I'm telling you, I want y'all to pay attention and I want y'all to do your own goddamn research. Don't believe me. Don't take my word for shit. When you all are out, okay, now you're going to have two different studies because some of y'all may live in a predominantly black area. But I want y'all to notice how many black men actually turn around and look at women's asses or size them up, even when they're with other women. Do a, do a count. Now, if you live in a mixed area, I want you to take note of how many black men do that shit versus how many women of, men of other races do it. Any race. I don't give a fuck what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Let's eliminate... Um, Nope, not even them. I was going to say Puerto Rican men, but nope. Not even them. Black man versus everybody. Because <laughs> I, where was I yesterday? Oh, because I went to Mystic, to the aquarium, right? So the lady was walking through the door. There was a dude standing there. And I just happened to look and he was sizing her up. I was like, that's so disgusting that niggas think they have the right to do that. Hey, why are you looking at every woman in that manner? You can glance at a woman and be like, oh, she's attractive. And now, mind you, all the women are not attractive, but the weird thing is they're looking at their asses. They're not really looking at the woman as a person. That's what makes that shit sick. Pay attention. I want y'all to get back to me. All right, I got to go now. I had to get off work early to go do something last minute, but I'm going to take my ass back to swim now. Um, I was trying to wait for it to stop thundering and lightning. I know y'all grandmama and mama and them used to tell y'all don't take your ass in the water when it's thundering and lightning. But you know what? I might stay home. Because y'all know what I got delivered? I got me a, I bought another Wii. My other Wii broke. So I want to amp it up. Swimming is not enough. I got to go next level now. I'm going to dance too. Oh, y'all, there goes thunder and lightning. There goes my answer to that. So, yeah, so I got the Zumba and I already, and it came with two CDs that I already had, two games I already had, but I'm going to, and I found my Just Dance Country. I'm going to do that too. But y'all know what's crazy? I had a dream last night. I'm telling y'all, last night I woke up renewed, 
this morning I woke up renewed. And y'all know I go to bed at early, really early. So I was up at like 2.30. But I had a dream and I was looking up in the sky and all I saw was a bunch of helicopters and shit. So when I looked it up, it was like, basically the translation was like, keep pushing. Um, this is about success. The things you've been working hard for, they're going to all, everything's about to pay off for you. Stay focused. It was like, have some money because, so you can partake in all the goodness that's about to come your way you know what i'm saying and it's funny because you know of course i was thinking those things like you know having my money together i've been saving but it's just funny how confirmations come through and also i was watching polls listen i told y'all that game of thrones is the shit but i'm telling y'all polls look i don't care if you're not gay if you just like great writing if you're an emotional person if you've been through some shit in your life, if you faced any kind of rejection or watch that, that is an excellent show. When I tell you that show made me laugh and cry, I mean, I was in here boo-boo crying a few times on that last, ep the last two episodes, the finales. But, you know, those messages come because it's so funny. As I was looking up the helicopter, what it means. I was um, watching that last episode of Pose and it was on the last few minutes. And it was when Blanca walked out the club and that house mother asked her, you know, what do you want to do? What happens when you want to give up? And that speech she gave, y'all, when I tell y'all I was bawling, crying, because that's true. You got to keep fucking pushing and you will triumph. You know, you wouldn't be where you are today if you didn't keep fucking pushing. Now, some of y'all don't try, right? Some people around you have told y'all y'all ain't trying hard enough. And I'm not talking about on YouTube. I'm talking about in your real life. They're not lying to you. They love you. They want you to have more and be more. They know. They know you. They know you could be doing better. And it's just little things that y'all could twerk. Tweak. Yeah, stop twerking and then tweak some other shit, right? But um, you got to believe in you and do the right thing and work hard. Real shit. There's nothing given to you ever in life. But it was, let me see if I can find it. I mean, I was like, wow, the helicopter dream had me fucked up because first of all, y'all know I travel a little something, but flying is not my thing. Heights are not my thing, but I wasn't afraid. And I was clearly on the ground because I was looking up and I was like, wow, that's a lot of helicopters up there. And um, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? But it, I wasn't afraid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking it up. Y'all hold up. Dreaming about helicopters. So I can give y'all the um the real one, not my ghetto translation. Okay, let's see. Cause you know that do you guys do dream interpretations? The thing about me is I don't really dream. Some people say they dream, and when people tell me a long detailed dream, I'm like, you're lying. <laughs> I've had deja vu's and shit like that, but um I don't dream. You know, some people dream a goddamn half hour sitcom. You telling a goddamn lie. Your ass wasn't asleep, bitch. You was daydreaming. You were alive. You was you wasn't dreaming. You was fantasizing, ho. Okay. You were motherfucking fantasizing, biatch. What are you talking about? Oh my god, I just can't. okay, hold up. All right, ten helicopter dream. Dreaming of a helicopter is related to the professional side, suffering events, and hopes connected with work. Which is interesting because y'all know what I've been through at work, right? It's an expensive object and not so close to the reality of most people related to ambition, strength, courage, and achievement. You guys may not know this. I'm going to do another video. This is going to be separate because I wasn't even thinking about this, but this is going to be about my work chronicles. So that was all work related, basically, in a sense, because I went back to work today. Yes, I did. And um, I started training on some other shit. Those bitches act like they had some sense today. So I act like I had some sense today too, you know, because it's about getting a job done. I don't care if y'all never talk to me about shit personal. I'm good with that. Let's get the job done. Mm -hmm. Some people argue that dreaming of a helicopter has a relationship with spirits that hover at the highest level, entering the sensitive field of spiritual life. Others point out that the meaning of helicopters and dreams is fundamentally and ambitious in their pursuit of success. I would say that applies to me in both senses because a lot of my loved ones are gone. The people who truly meant the most to me are no longer here. And that is a fact. 
So I'm going to say it's both because my dreams and ambitions are very strong and I do have a goal and, a, you know, and actually I've been knocking some shit down. I'm going to tell y'all some honest truth that if swimming taught me nothing else is that I could do anything I want to do. Real shit. I mean, I've always been confident and secure, but I'm going to tell you swimming ain't no shit that I thought I would ever even be involved in or think about because I've always been afraid of water. But the fact that I get my ass and go every day and I have work, like y'all should see my backstroke. That shit is strong. Like, you talking about somebody who wouldn't even put their face in the water, period, okay? So, yes, if you see a helicopter in your dream, whatever its size or shape, be aware of the feeling that comes when you see it. Dreaming of these elements related to your personality, desires, and career is very subjective. Helicopters are related to your desire to explore the most diverse sectors of life if you are not yet adventurous. You can reverse the situation with attitude and fly far higher than you think. See, that all changes, that all is work-related too because I also had said, you know, work-related and life-related because at work, I said, the other day, I said, fuck it, I'm just going to do what I got to do, but this is before they had pissed me off though. But now, like I said, over the weekend, I took them two days off and I just felt better after that. I told y'all I went to the aquarium. I was with my kids, my grandkids, had a great time. And I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to work tomorrow. Let's see what it is. This morning I got up, I listened to um, Never Would Have Made It on my way to work. And I would listen to This Morning When I Rose. This morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt. Don't have no motherfucking doubt in your life, okay? If you believe it, you damn sure can achieve it. Now, if R. Kelly didn't teach us shit else, that's right. I believe I can fly. Believe that shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't want to listen to R. Kelly. I don't, that's on y'all. He locked up. I don't listen to him on the rag, but I'm not going to tell you that his his lyrics and his music didn't touch my life the same way that DMX hasn't. Because DMX touched me in ways that nobody else could. And so the fuck is Robert Kelly. And I'm not talking about um, them, them, them club songs. Not them songs. He has some beautiful music that he has written. Chocolate Factory is one of my favorite albums by him. But, um... Yeah, he got some beautiful music that make you feel happy and loved on the inside. Because sometimes you have nothing else but music. Some of y'all choose YouTube. You know, when y'all feeling empty, y'all go to YouTube. I strongly advise y'all to tune into music with words that matter. That are going to change your life and uplift you. I'm telling y'all, words matter. Words can change everything for you. Words will change the course of your life. Somebody just say the right shit to you at the right time, it's on. Gotta be paying attention. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Y'all hear that thunder and lightning? Dream of high flying. The dream meaning of a high flying helicopter shows that you have the ambition to grow in life and work hard to make it happen. Holla! The time for you to reap everything you have planted tirelessly, tirelessly is near. These results can be personal and professional, but they will definitely arrive soon, so get ready. If a helicopter flies low in your dream, which it didn't, that means your willpower to win in life. That's great, but when it's not what you want, you know that you can do more, but that you won't make, but that won't make you give up and you will pursue your ambitions with all your might until you reach a high flight. Your dreams may seem impossible, but in your heart, you know, you'll get there. Okay. Believe in yourselves. Believe in yourself. Yeah. So, okay. Dreaming of many helicopters. If you see many helicopters in your dream, it shows that success. And this will continue for a long time. Continue to plan your future and control your financial life so you won't miss anything as long as you can still take advantage of opportunities. It says, dreaming of a helicopter flying over the city, it shows that your ambition has a precise location and direction. You tend to be very successful at flying helicopters. Try to pay attention to the details of the dream to find out which fertile place to take action. Yeah, it was a great dream. Who knew? I mean, like I said, I was on the ground looking up and it was a whole bunch of helicopters. I'm like, like black hawks and shit. And they were black. They were black helicopters. Yeah. And it was a little cloud, but it was like, I was like, oh my. And it was like beautiful. I'm like, what's going on? But I didn't feel afraid. So it was just, yes, confirmation about what I need to do. <laughs> so when y'all rise in the morning, don't have no doubt. Okay. May the faith be with all of you. Make it do what it do. Be safe out there in them streets. Don't be arguing with motherfuckers about nothing. Traffic. 
parking, fuck all that. Don't blow your goddamn horn at bitches either. They got problems. Some girl got shot six times in the back. They didn't charge the person because they said he felt threatened. This is because of a traffic incident, okay? Don't do it. People are sick out this bitch. Don't do it. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep striving, okay? Keep doing the right shit. Stay away from negativity and fucked up people. Some of y'all are back arguing with the same motherfuckers that y'all was arguing with six months ago, eight months ago, a year ago, 24 months ago. And I really am, I'm asking you motherfuckers because y'all know who I'm talking to and I love you bitches. But why are y'all arguing with each other again about the same old dumb ass shit? Do tell. Do motherfucking tell, please. Hmm? Why is that? Huh? Now imagine me. I wish I could show you my... Imagine my face. Like I'm looking at you like I'm your mama. And your mama's like disgusted with you. and want to know why are you so fucking... What are you doing? Why? Huh? Okay. I had to come and get on y'all nerves. Because y'all know I get on my daughter motherfucking nerves too. Okay. Mm. I don't give a shit how old you are. Okay. Your mama still got some shit to say to you. She gonna say it and you should listen. Mama knows best. Y'all done fucking forgot. Okay. Mama been there and done that. They didn't get this far for no reason. They come this far by faith. But think about this. How many people didn't make it? Right? How many? And not because of sickness. A lot of people didn't make it because of stupid shit. Trust that. So when your mamas is telling you some shit, do listen. Okay? Take the advice. Huh? Bad decisions lead to last decisions. Okay? Do what it do. Deuces.